Well, sometimes I finally discovered that I have a codependent relationship with Maine. <laughs> really special to me. I brought my kids up here. I came here by deliberate purpose. I was living in San Francisco. I wanted to have a family and I did not want to raise them in a place where I had to warn them about the dangers of walking out our front door. To me, there's never been anything made by a human that can approach the beauty of what is created by Mother Nature. And I, I was trained as an artist, and I really appreciate artistic expression and the beauty contained therein. And yet, I have never seen a work of art that has moved me like a natural landscape has. is clearly in charge, I think brings about humility. And I think we need to get in touch with our humility that helps us learn how to treat each other, how to treat our planet. And to me, looking at the stars and reminding myself that I am just this little tiny, tiny speck in the universe. And it it fills me with awe that I was put here for some reason and I'm reminded of my place in this infinite universe and it's very humbling, it's very inspiring. I think it really brings out some excellent qualities or values that we human beings need to be reminded of and that's why I think wilderness is, is very special and, and needs to be protected. Well, my newfound love is Lunxus Camps. So we bought them this spring and we had a caretaker go up there who works for us to do some cleaning and assessing what will be needed here. And, and the day he and his wife spent the night there, first night that they were there, a baby moose was stranded and almost drowning. They brought the moose in and dried the moose off and they went back to town and got some infant formula for the moose. And, kept it there for a few days until it had regained its strength and then took it to a wildlife rehabilitation center to determine whether it could be reintroduced to the wild or if at some point it could be. The timing came together for that moose and it came together for us to be there to see this and know that we were sort of part of the whole natural cycle of things and that was very inspiring for me and just knowing that the entire living planet is connected to everything else on the entire living planet and I'm part of that living planet just makes me feel like hey there's a reason I'm here I'm connected to all of this it's very reassuring the land trusts that are around the state of Maine. And they start with, oftentimes I've heard many of their stories where they live in a neighborhood, there's a 2,000 acre parcel of land that appeared to be public. They all hiked on it or skied on it in the winter. And suddenly it goes up for sale. And the local folks, sometimes it's just four or five of them. It's like, we can't let this get developed. We can't let this go on the open market. They start to develop a community of support around it. They start raising money, mostly from their neighbors, and they buy it, and they preserve it. They build trails on it. It becomes part of their community. Once you have made an investment in saving a little piece of green space, you pick up the trash if you're walking on the trail. You own it, and it becomes so important to you. You start to protect it. You start looking at the way people are using it and realize, hey, we need a trail here. Look, people are starting to make their own trail. Let's build this trail. It becomes so much more personal when you have made a personal investment in it. You can't kind of divide things up and think that a piece, the sum of 
the pieces is the whole because everything is connected to everything else and I, I just love that concept and it makes me feel connected.